the name Sistus comes from the Portuguese, where cesto means capsule or basket, referring to the capsule-shaped fruits which form after the floral season. Cistus or rock rose is not related to the rose family, of course. It belongs to the Cistacea plant family. The gray foliated evergreen, a very fragrant shrub, can reach a height of about one meter or something more. The perennial shrub is native to the Mediterranean area where it decorates the dry mountainsides and starts blossoming in early spring. Cistus is able to survive cold climate changes and also long summer droughts, supported by its property to reduce water evaporation by virtue of its sticky oil-carrying layer on its leaves, visible as minute cells in form of glossy, transparent dots. Ecologically, the plant plays an important role in the case of wildfire as a reforestation manner due to its strong survival abilities. The Sistus variety with its pink colored blossoms from Creta, Greece, is the Sistus creticus. It's not the one that is used for distillation, but rather for the labdanum resin. The essential oil is from Sistus ladaniferus plant and usually produced in Spain, in Portugal and in Morocco. Cistus essential oil is obtained by steam distillation of the ladaniferous leaves and twigs. The ovoid leaves with their glossy appearance exude a resin called labdamum. Its fragrance is warm, aromatic, herbaceous, amber-like and musky. On a hot summer day, one can smell the intense scent spread by the shrub's resinous compounds stored in its leaves. Cistus ladanifer is a species whose sticky leaves have been used for thousands of years to produce the labdanum resin, regarded as a wonderful panacea. In those times, people scraped the resin from the fur of goats or sheep, having grazed among the rock roses. The deep shepherds called it, collected it from the fur and sold the resinous substance to coastal traders. The fake beards of the pharaohs, which they wore in ancient Egypt, were in fact the labdanum soaked of the hair of the animals. Later, the shepherds used long poles with leather thongs, practical to sweep off the resin from the shrubs. The resin sticking to the tongs then was isolated by squeezing it off through sand, which was removed later. Now, the nomads who have used cistus as a medicinal plant in North Africa since antiquity to heal wounds, an effective um, remedy explainable due to its potent antiseptic, antibacterial, antiviral, and especially hemostatic and cell regenerating properties. And these properties have meanwhile been proven 
by scientific research. Today, Cystus is considered an effective compound in numerous skincare and wellness products, and it is famous for its capacity to make our hair also shining. Also, many lotions, cosmetics, soaps and detergents contain rock rose. Nowadays, for example, in the case of psoriasis and chronic eczema, Cystus is one of the best natural choices for healing. It's also a good source of vitamin A and as such strengthens and protects the skin and acts as a regenerator of skin cells. As a free radical, free radical scavenger, it is responsible for its well-known skin smoothing effects. It also shows good results in treating irritated, inflamed skin, suffering from acne or neurodermitis.